Gaming Vault presents 15 most awful video game covers of all time. Cover art definitely isn't the most important thing for a video game. In fact, they wouldn't even rank in the top 10, especially these days when more people are starting to purchase their games digitally with every passing day. But when you're trying to sell a game, you have to make sure that the cover art looks physically appealing because, like it or not, a lot of potential buyers might base their purchase on that fact. However, publishers don't always grasp that simple concept as well as you might think they would. Here in this list, we've compiled what we think are 15 of the worst cover arts we've ever seen for a video game. Take a look and try not to have nightmares. Also, just to add, don't judge a game by its cover. When we say the cover arts are bad, that's all we're saying. We're not talking about the quality of the games mentioned here themselves. Druid, Demons of the Mind. Right off the bat, we kick off with something extremely cringeworthy and almost terrifying. Granted, this is a pretty old game from 1995, so the art of making decent cover arts hadn't fully developed then, and maybe it still hasn't. But that giant face staring intensely into your soul does nothing to convince you that this might be a game worth playing. Beyond the Black Hole A guy desperately latching onto his computer with his legs while getting sucked into a black hole tie first while he's wearing 3D glasses. That's not a very good advertisement for your game. Neither does it sell the idea of 3D very well. If anything, it's corny, and anybody with half a brain would be put off by the idea of playing a game with such a cover art. Tongue of the Fat Man Okay, this one just freaks me the hell out. Look at that giant face covering as much of the cover art as water covers the Earth's surface. And it's not even as if it's a normal face. His nostrils have eyes, and he's snarling in a distinctly Kratos-like fashion. This is the stuff of nightmares. Low Blow Yep, it looks exactly like what it sounds like. A boxer getting punched in a tender area below the belt with a look of utter agony on his face. The art designer took the name of the game too literally, it seems. Or maybe he or she was just tired of their job and was trying really hard to get fired. This would do it, wouldn't it? Freestyle Metal X I'm pretty sure this is where Christopher Nolan got all of his inspiration for the movie Inception. A smiling man's head is being torn apart, and a smaller smiling man's head is coming out of it, and then yet another smaller head comes out of the smaller head. It's weird and unsettling, and when you consider the fact that the game is about riding dirt bikes, it just makes no sense in context of the game. Pet Vet Okay, this one's just lazy. It's almost as if, a few hours before the game was supposed to hit the shelves, the publishers realized they hadn't decided on what cover art was going to be, and hired a random person to hastily make one for them on Photoshop. Carnage Rally Let's just look past the grossly annoying misspelling of the word carnage. We'll call that a stylistic choice. But what the hell is up with this guy's face? Why is he even on there? You want to make a game about car combat, how about you make the cover art actually depict carnage rather than a guy with weird hair who looks like a troll in every sick possible way. Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition Oh man, what a game this was, an absolute masterpiece, one of the true gems of the last generation of console gaming. It's a shame that its Game of the Year version has this one specific blot working against it. Sure, it doesn't matter that much when you think about it, but really? It almost feels as if the publishers were overwhelmed with how much positive response the game got and decided to cram every bit of it that they could onto the cover itself. Batman would not approve. Tommy Lasorda Baseball Sure, Sega, we get it, you named the game after Tommy Lasorda, but did he have to be such a dominant fixture in the cover art itself? Did his face have to look like it was so displeased to be there that it was being forced to smile at gunpoint? Couldn't you have made the cover art that had something to do with baseball? Or were you just feeling that lazy? It says Tommy Lasorda, just give them Tommy Lasorda. Castlevania, Dawn of Sorrow, this, well, this is the ultimate definition of laziness. And it's even more surprising because it's coming from Konami, one of the leading developers and publishers of video games in the entire industry. Rather than working on something new for their Konami's best edition of Dawn of Sorrow, what did they do? They essentially take the box art of the original game and put the exact damn thing on the new box art. Actually, you have to applaud their audacity and their sheer fuck it attitude. Cliffhanger this is a game based on a movie, so you would have thought that even if the cover art designers were feeling particularly lazy, or were just playing bad at their jobs, finding a good cover art couldn't have been that difficult. Just use some images or posters from the movie itself, and call it good. But no, look at Sylvester Stallone there, hanging by the ledge, looking tired and defeated. Well, we feel his pain. My Paper Boat 
My Paper Boat has the laziest and yet somehow the most baffling box art ever. It takes a picture of a paper boat on the water, throws in a PC game stamp at the bottom, a cheap word art effect to get the title in at the top, and calls it a day. Why, then, is this box art so baffling? Simply because the picture they have chosen is so mysteriously zoomed in on that it might take you a few good seconds to figure out just what the heck you are looking at. That's a few good seconds that this game, and certainly its box, do not deserve. Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition. This is going to give me nightmares for a few good days. I mean, look at those faces. They look like Thomas the Tank Engine did drugs and is now having the worst trip one could possibly imagine. The cover art says that the game is so addictive it should be illegal. Well, you know what? Based on that image, maybe it should. Ninja Scooter Simulator. There's just too much to be made fun of here. Let's just forget about the fact that the game is called Ninja Scooter Simulator, extra emphasis on simulator because I bet it's super realistic, but that the ninja is riding around on a scooter with spikes coming out of it. In no way possible can I think of a scenario where something like that would be intimidating, or anything but downright hilarious. Seaman. This is just bizarre. Sure, the concept of the game itself is bizarre as well. It's essentially a pet simulator for a species called Seaman, and no, it's not a real species. And you have to figure out how to take care of it all by yourself. You can't really do much for a cover art when the game's concept itself is that weird. Credit to the developers, they actually made a sequel as well. But this cover art tells you nothing about the game at all, other than what hardware features of the system it uses. If anything, it just raises even more questions. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.